Hi Virgo, welcome to your Prepare for the Unexpected reading. This takes a look at, it kind of, it, it's intended to recap the month prior um, a little bit, but to let you know what to, what is something that might not have been included in a reading for the next month. So basically it's talking about something that hasn't been mentioned yet that's going to be unexpected for you to be prepared for. Um, so there's like a recap involved and then anyway, anything else you need to know about the reading is in the description box below. Um, okay, so we've got the chariot. And then we've got the strength card here. The backstory is the king of wands, the knight of swords, and the two of wands reversed. Then we have the eight of pentacles, death, ace of cups, seven of swords, and four of swords. All right, so. There. Okay, so you might be thinking about just moving forward, um, forward movement, progress. Maybe you're thinking about a cancer, um, someone with the zodiac sign of cancer, just basically being able to move forward, victory, that sort of thing, winning, you know, that sort of thing. Um, being determined, sort of feeling pretty powerful or feeling like you, you got this, okay? You're optimistic. Um, kind of ties in line with this. This could be Leo, but this is about strength. Um, the central issue for you in the coming month, next month, will be about strength. So it could be about persevering along with this. It could be about um, coming from a, just building up a good foundation or feeling really confident in your position. Um, it could be about handling a situation with integrity. Okay. So in the backstory behind that is there's a lot of movement. You're doing a lot for the next coming month or the month of December. Um, some of it might be solitary. Um, you might be dating a lot as far as this is a love reading. So there we go. And this also is general. So there's a lot of scenarios here I'm going to be throwing out. Um, but there's not a lot of like forward movement or there might be some frustration or delay in finding that one that fits both your, that basically is really hot and you feel that chemistry with. And also they're a good person that you see you can have um, forward movement with. Okay. And the whole reason why I stopped the reading, or I, I, the readings all spread out, is because I, I, had, um, I had the wrong deck. <laughs> I was going to do some clarifiers, and I, I had another deck. So I had to get, I'm going to be clarifying with these two, and I'll explain in a minute. Anyway, all right, so coming from a position of strength, building a good foundation, focusing on that, what would suit you, because this is a lot of confidence here. There's just some frustration, lack of delay, but you really... You like your chances and you want to get this thing off the ground, so to speak. So we're working, we're out there looking, we're receptive. Things are in the mix. Again, though, this is solitary. So we've got these solitary right here. And then we this could be planning with someone, but you haven't found that person yet. That just kind of does all the things <laughs> that fits what you want. You know, they might have like three out of six characteristics, but you're, you're still... Still looking, still working. All the while, you're staying busy and you're working. Um, there is an ending. There is an ending. And it's going to be with somebody that... And that's what this, this deck is for. I pulled the court cards so you could see it's thin. Because I started going through them. And the other one, I was like, holy cow, I had like 15 cards for the backstory. It's like, wow, this is not a personal reading. Okay. So anyway... Um, there's going to be an ending. If it's not with somebody that's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, it's going to be somebody that has those type of quality or this specifically this type of quality where there's a lot of busyness and movement, but this is not a stable energy. This is someone too that is also on the hunt or is dating, has not found someone that they find suitable to set down, settle down with. There might be chemistry with this person, but it's just, it's not sustaining for a like compatibility on the long, in the long term or for a future stable, that sort of thing. Um, no shade against a person. It's just that they're not this energy. Whoever this is, is not whoever the ending is with not wanting to settle down. The new beginning for this could be that it, you, you maintain the physical side of the relationship. There's that. But as far as, um, an ending, this might've happened for you in the month prior. There's been an ending with somebody that has those characteristics or qualities. Okay. And the reason why is probably because you're ready to kind of find somebody that you feel pretty confident and secure with, that you feel a connection with. Um, I'm going to clarify with these if I need to. 
And it could be that you actually do end up this. Hmm. All right. Hold on a minute. Let's see what this is. What's this Ace of Cups? Is that what you want or is that what's coming? Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think you want this. I think this is what you want because you're feeling kind of like that's the one missing thing now. That's the one thing that you're feeling disconnected or there's like a disconnect. Everything else is going great. You know, you've got, you're busy, socially fulfilled, working. Um, you know, you, you get out of bed every day with a smile on your face. Well, most of you do, right? But the one piece that's missing is finding that, that love that fits all those parts of you, finding that connection with somebody. Um, hmm. That's probably, well, that is why there's, this is being looked at like, okay, what do I really want? I want to find, I want to fall in love. I want to be in love. I want to be loved. Okay, so this speaks, at, hold on a minute here. What's going on here? So seven of swords here. What is this? The unexpected element could be that you're actually going to find somebody that you're going to fall for. Okay, that you feel prepared to consider, you know, we really got a lot in common. It could be that this is the month that that happens. Honestly, we got the, we got the, okay, uh, marriage here and, you know, connected, committed values, that sort of thing, um, stable, committed. And we've got the Ace of Cups, which is falling in love or being in love, a love relationship, but we've got this ending. So it could be a couple of things. It could be that's why, because you're ready for this, or it could be that, um, there was an ending for someone that you felt could, you could get off the ground with as far as the love relationship. You could go somewhere that could be movement, but alas, no, it just wasn't stable enough. we got the pentacles there. Um, and you're really, your mindset is just elsewhere. You don't want this type of energy anymore. You want more solid and committed. Hmm. What's this seven of swords, please? Can't make a decision or a decision needs to be made. And there isn't one feeling indecisive about something. Okay, so you know what? I don't think you're expecting this. Here's the unexpected. I think that somebody is coming back in the picture. It could be this person that you ended with, okay? But I think somebody's coming back um, and they are wanting a second chance. Is that what that is? You might need to clarify that. Hmm. Hmm. To, because we have seven of swords here. Is this sabotage? Is this sneaking around? Being indecisive? Hmm. Wondering if it's the right judgment call. Is this about renewal, rebirth, second chances? Okay, two more cards for that one. What's this seven of swords about? Two more cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you see that? The seven of swords clarifying the seven of swords. Okay. So this is for some of you, this might be self-sabotage. Okay. This might be about wishful thinking, not being able to quite let go yet because you're just, you're really wanting something to pan out. And it's almost like you're debating maybe whether to accept where it's at now in hopes that there's forward movement and it can grow into something more mature and stable. Um, so instead of maybe letting the ending lie, you're actually going to reconnect, but it's not going to be anything that's, it's not gonna be like, there's a decision. It's just going to kind of be, you're going to be in this state of confusion about it. This suggests that you're like sneaking around cause you don't want anybody to know and, or that you just, maybe this is you not being faithful or loyal in one relationship because you've still got this relationship because the work side, the social side is straight, but the dating is like this kind of confusing type of yeah. And I think you're wanting a decision. <laughs> you're wanting to feel like you can make a decision because this is about indecision right here about information overload, not making a decision. You're wanting either someone else to make the decision because maybe you feel like you can't, or you're, you're feeling like I need to make a decision. I'm tired of this sneaking around business. I'm tired of things being in flux and that just 
So a decision needs to be made here, whether by you or by somebody else. It, it probably involves letting go. Um, maybe you don't feel prepared to do that. I think what's unexpected about this though is that this person comes back and you're actually receptive to it because you just, for whatever reason, you just can't quite quit. Um, for some of you, and again, no shade, so don't get flustered here. Um, it could be that you're negotiating with yourself. Like, well, they do have this because maybe you're tired of looking. Maybe you're getting frustrated at the delays. You haven't found that person yet. So you're like, well, maybe they're... Eh. And instead of ending it and making a decision, you're just kind of... Eh. You're still in the... Still in the negotiating phase. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to pull back. <laughs> and you need to go to... Go to ground, basically. Um... You need to pull back, give this a mental rest. You need to disengage. You're not going to be, as long as you're in it and there's this back and forth, you're not going to be able to get a clear decision. You're not going to be able to make a clear decision. There's something about this person that really is tugging at your heartstrings. But you need time away. You need to pull back. You need a mental break from this. You need a physical break from this. So it starts off like, hey, yay, there's an ending because there's luck. Wait a minute. Here it comes again. And it's going to keep you from... For right now, it's like this person is not about that. And yet, I think there might be you wanting it to be about that. And and while you're in it and while you're involved, you're trying to negotiate it and you can't. You need to make a clean break. You need to pull back. You need to think about what you want and what you're doing. Um, okay, let me just pull two more cards here because, holy cow, we're already at 12 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you're. it's really got you... Because you're thinking, we got two fours, um, you're thinking, it's got you just feeling like there's no way out of this. Because it, on the one hand, the advice is to pull back and to think. And you're, what you're going to be thinking about, though, is this relationship. It's not really going to be a mental break if you're still kind of going round and round. And let's be honest, if it's on your mind, it's on your mind. Physically disengaging, fine. But being able to shut your mind off, that's not very easy. <laughs> Um, because that's what it shows here is that you're just really going to be consumed by this, this person and the idea of stability and connection with them. If not them, then who? I feel like that's, that's the question you're asking yourself. So December is going to be a back and forth month for you, Virgo. Um, and wanting to do the right thing and to, you know, just make an upstanding forthright decision. And yet you're, you're just, it's like your heartstrings are being tugged at you. There's this back and forth. Okay. All right. Any advice for Virgo? Any, any messages or advice for Virgo here? Messages or advice for Virgo. Again, with the transformation, <laughs> um, family might be heavily on your mind. Starting a family might be heavily on your mind. Wanting to get a solid relationship off the ground. That's what this whole reading's been about. Okay, so that's, I guess this is what validation, like, yep, yeah, okay, <laughs> I get you. I know that that's what you're thinking about. It's on your mind. Virgo. Virgo. And you know, this does speak of transformation, like this ending here. So whether you want it to happen or not, probably an ending and simultaneously a new beginning is coming. Um, and it's almost like you're in the last stages of being able to make that decision or or have something decisive happen even if you don't make it maybe the other person makes it or something happens to where it's just not negotiable anymore it's like it's coming to an end you know we got this eight here okay it's almost it's almost to a ten <laughs> so things are probably in flux and i think this might be the last hurrah just saying there we go mm, illusions sort of starting to believe your own. And this is that solitary energy. This speaks to that solitary energy again. Um, illusions starting, you know, you keep yourself company, you do enough things, but then it's almost like if there's no checks and balances or oversight, you kind of start to fall down a rabbit hole about things. And there's no judgment or shade here. It's basically being set in your own ways. But sometimes we start to make things true that aren't, or we start to, we don't have any outside input. So we just kind of go along in the same vein and we might be losing touch with what's really important or things that really are because we're so we're, our, our thinking gets clouded because we are so solitary so just be careful that 
false truths are not the only thing keeping you company <laughs> because false reality then you know it could increase and then falling down that rabbit hole do you know what i mean stay connected to your friends stay connected to your family so that they can help give you perspective on this because this is back and forth and it's going to tug at your heartstrings one more two more two more virgo 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 two more advice for virgo i think you thought it was done and they're coming back though taking a leap of faith Take a risk and put your heart's put your heart's true desire in action. If you you could wait for this to kind of peter out, the other person will ultimately make the decision, right? Um, because they might be interested now, but it's not going to be lasting. Or you could take the leap of faith and make the decision um, and get yourself out of this rut. No shade again. This is is talking about transformation happening whether you want it to or not, and this is like the last dregs of it or the last cycle of it um, but you need to get out of that rut and you need to take a leap of faith and maybe you need to be the one to end it to take action to end it because it, it'll get ended <laughs> the per other person will eventually but it's just going to drag out you know i'm sorry virgo yeah okay so let's get one last here for virgo new year coming up you know new possibilities there's always a new possibility though virgo Hmm. Okay, so it's a firm. Create your own affirmations, blah, blah, blah. Not discounting that, but for this type of, what this typically means for me is um, you, need, <laughs> you need some faith. You need somebody to kind of pull you out of that rut or to kind of, um, to give you some encouragement, to lift you up, to, to get you out of this thinking and this back and forth and it might be comfortable because it's familiar but it ultimately it's not the best for you and you need others around you to lift you up and to reaffirm your worth and who you are and you might be frustrated that there's no forward movement so you might be thinking of settling but don't because you deserve better you deserve somebody who can match your character okay nothing wrong if this is a choice but if you're feeling like oh i just uh, you're settling don't do that you will regret it Okay, all right, um, ending it here, finally. So this is kind of like another love reading, isn't it? But there you go. The unexpected is this person's coming back. You thought there was an ending, they're coming back. The choice will be yours, but it'll be back and forth, just saying. All right, Virgo, I hope this was helpful, um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.